In this video, we're going to take a look at Cayley's theorem. Cayley's theorem states that every group is isomorphic to a group of permutations. And what that means, or why that's important, is a group of permutations is in general easier to work with. We know some of the rules involved in multiplying permutations and so forth. Whereas some of the other groups that we might study are more abstract or harder to conceptualize. So this is just a way for us to be able to more easily deal with some of those more abstract groups. When you're dealing with Cayley's theorem, what we're going to do is we're going to define a function t of g that goes from g to g. So we're not changing the group, but we're saying such that t sub g of x is equal to g times x. Or in other words, we're going to multiply each value of g by each value of g on the left. So if we're looking at u12, and in the same way that we say g is isomorphic to g bar, this is u12 bar, which means it's the group that it's going to be isomorphic to, which means we need to know what u12 is. And u12 is the set of all values less than 12, relatively prime to 12, which I've already listed for you, 1, 5, 7, and 11. Now, what does this Cayley's theorem tell me I should do? It says take those values, so t sub 1, t sub 5, t sub 7, t sub 11, which means I'm going to take each value multiplied by that on the left, and I'm going to write it essentially as a permutation. Now, if I wanted to write this as a two-line permutation, I would say 1. Now, this means that it's going to map basically to itself, so 1's going to map to 1, 5 to 5, 7 to 7, 11 to 11. So essentially this is just the identity permutation. It's not doing anything. It's not changing anything. So let's take a look, and you can also write this just as 1. Let's take a look at 5. So essentially I'm going to take it times 5. So 1, 1 times 5 is 5, so 1's going to map to 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 mod 12 is 1. And so I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to take 5 times 7, because I've already used 1 and 5. So 5 times 7 is 35. 35 mod 12 is 11. So 7 mapped to 11, and then we're going to close it. I'm going to continue that process. So 1's going to map to 7. 7 times 7 is 49, which is actually 1 mod 12. Again, we're in mod 12. Then I'm going to go to 5, 5 times 7, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 5 times 7 is 35, which is 11, mod 12. And then again for 11, I'm going to say 1 maps to 11. 11 times 11 is 121, which is 1, mod 12. Almost messed that one up there. And then I'm going to take 5, and 5 times 11 is 55, which is 7, mod 12. So this is my new group. Again, four values. And if I take a look at the Cayley table for U12 and the Cayley table using Cayley's theorem for U12, so T sub 1, T sub 5, we can see that these are in fact the exact same group. They have the same structure. They're only cosmetically different, but structurally the same. So if you'll notice, each one maps to T1, one maps to T1, one maps to T1, one maps to T1. So we can see the mapping very clearly. It's one to one, it's onto, and in fact, it's operation preserving as well, because say seven times 11, gives me the same thing as T7 and T11 would give me T5. So we get the idea that these are exactly the same. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at some properties of isomorphisms.